<clears throat> today we have St. John of the Cross as our saint. He was born in 1542 and died in 1591, December the 14th. He was a tiny man, but a giant in the spirit. John of the Cross was the greatest of the Spanish mystics. A Carmelite friar, he was persuaded by Teresa of Avila to join a movement, a reform movement, within the order called the Dischalists, because they went without shoes. He was seized and thrown into prison by the repressive Chalists, Carmelite but finally escaped. The Chalists, this Chalice, finally won their independence, but towards the end of his life, John was to suffer further persecution, this time from the vicar general of his own Dischalist order. He was stripped of rank and responsibility <clears throat> and banished to a remote area where he died. His most famous work, was The Dark Night of the Soul, a poem with a prose spiritual commentary. The night, which seems unwelcome, becomes sweeter than the dawn and unites the divine lover and his beloved until each is transformed into the other. Eventually, the senses depart. And here's the poem. I lay quite still, all memory lost. I reclined on my lover, my lover one's breast. I knew no more in my abandonment. I threw away my care, and I left all forgotten among the lilies fair. I left it all forgotten among the lilies fair. In 1951, the artist Salvador Dali painted the work Christ of St. John of the Cross, inspired by St. John's life, and a drawing John had done showing Christ on the cross shielding the world. It is on display in Glasgow and a source of great comfort and inspiration to many. The suggested prayer for today is based on St. John Cross's own work. This life I live in vital strength is loss of life unless I win you, O God. And thus I shall continue to die until I live at length, for, my God, my life is in you. Teach me to find you in my suffering and deprivation as much as in consolation spiritual visions and meditation, and teach me to count all people precious in your sight, whatever virtue they may possess. Amen. And we will start our service. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our opening sentences. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. And you're welcome to say the, the lines in bold. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. 
and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. This morning's reading is taken from three sources. We start with Psalm 77, verse 14, then verses 18 to 19. You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. The crash of thunder was in the whirlwind your lightnings lit up the world and the earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. Genesis 49 verses 9 to 11a Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He crouches down. He stretches out like a lion, like a lioness. Who dares rouse him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him, and the obedience of the peoples is his. Binding his foal to the vine, and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. Luke 24 verses 9 to 32. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them, who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognising him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place in these days? He asked them, What things? And they replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe 
all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the day is nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. And when he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognised him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our canticle. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me, Christ on my left and on my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek and yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each one to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, Christ on my left and on my right. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again to our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.